Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. What am I think? What am I think? You are listening to Popeye News Links. This is the Admiral Tibet who I represent. And remember, the time is so serious. Contankerous and dangerous. This is Popeye News Links. Greetings. Greetings, viewers and subscribers. In the news today, first up, a 20-year-old security guard is facing criminal charges. His name is Shavan Subaran, but he's popularly known as Sean. Sean is living at Mango Hall District in the Little London area of Westmoreland. Our information is that Sean, he was employed to a well-known security company and he was based at Celebrations Limited formerly known as D&G. They are located along the Smithfield Main Road in the parish of Westmoreland. We are told that sometime last month, the management for the company, they were checking off the goods when it was discovered that a quantity of beverages were missing. As a result, an audit was done and the surveillance camera system checked. It was observed on camera that over a period of time, on different dates, Sean, he arrived for duty and while he was on duty, he removed a bunch of keys from the warehouse office without permission. He then used the keys to gain entry to the spirit room where he stole a quantity of liquor. We are told that the total sum of what he stole is almost 170,000 Jamaican dollars. As a result, a report was made to the police and on Tuesday, March 5, a raid was carried out and Sean, he was arrested. We are also told that Sean, he handed over a quantity of drinks that he stole from the company to the police. So, he'll be going to the courts shortly. In this next story, now, car stealing is on the rise in Jamaica. Persons will have to start finding ways to protect their investment. It is really not a nice feeling. You park up your car and you go somewhere. Or you park your car and you go to bed. When you wake up, it's gone. And that is what happened to a teacher in his mid-40s at Dr. Bird Circle at the Avin Housing Scheme in the Old Arbor area of St. Catherine. We are learning that the teacher... He parked and securely locked up his black 2014 Toyota Mark X at his gate Thursday night and retired to bed. When he got up early yesterday morning, Friday, March 8, about some minutes to 6 o'clock and made checks, he realized that the car it was missing. Somebody thief it. Just like that. In this next story, now, from the other day, I've also been telling you about some robberies that are taking place in the Greater Portmore area of St. Catherine. This one took place Thursday night, March 7, about 8.30. It took place along River Road in the forest area of Greater Portmore. We are learning that a 29-year-old customer service representative, he was walking along the roadway when he was approached by a lone hoodlum. This hoodlum, he was wearing a mask and he was armed with a gun. The hoodlum, he proceeded to choke down the man and robbed him of his black Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra cell phone, valued at over 70,000 Jamaican dollars. The hoodlum, he then made good his escape on foot in the area. Just like that. Now, this next robbery, it took place last night. Friday, March 8, about 8.30. It took place along Norman Manley Boulevard, popularly known as the Beach Road in Negril. Our information is that a man, he's in his late 40s. He was driving his white 2008 Toyota Isis motor car along the Beach Road. A female in her late 30s, she was also in the car. We are told that the man, he stopped and he was in the process of making a phone call when a motorcycle with two hoodlums aboard drove up and stopped. 
the hoodlums, they pulled guns and they took down the man and the woman in the car. They proceeded to rob them of cash, their cell phones and the Toyota Isis that the man was driving. The hoodlums, they then made good their escape towards Green Island direction. Just like that. Now, in this next incident, this one took place yesterday afternoon. Friday, March 8th, about 1 o'clock. It took place at Green Tank in the Rosites area of St. James. Our information is that a joint police military team, acting on intelligence, they carried out a search at a premises in the area. A building was searched and bingo. If you look on your screen, that M16 rifle, affixed with a magazine containing nine M16 rounds, were found under the basement of the building. As a result, four persons who were found at the premises were taken into police custody. Intelligencers, big up on yourself, and St. James Police, job well done. Over in the parish of Trelawney, this one took place at Blackwaters in the Waterbit area. It took place yesterday afternoon, Friday, March 8th, about 3 o'clock. We are told that a guy, his name is Jonathan Anthony Mullins. He is 30 years old and he's living at Woodgrove District in Trelawney. Jonathan, he was arrested and charged for unauthorized possession of ammunition. The police, they are alleging that they were on patrol in the area when Jonathan was spotted. And seeing the police, it is said that Jonathan... He started acting in what the police are saying is a suspicious manner. As a result, he was stopped and searched. The police, they are reporting that a transparent plastic bag was found in Jonathan's left back pants pocket. It was found to contain cornmeal. In the cornmeal, the police found one 9mm cartridge and one 9mm spent shell. As a result, Jonathan Mullins, he was arrested and charged, and he'll be going to the courts shortly. This next incident, it took place yesterday morning, Friday, March 8th, about 7 o'clock. It took place at a premises at Reedspen in Portmore, in the parish of St. Catherine. We are told that a team of police officers, acting on intelligence and armed with a search warrant, they carried out a raid at lot number 88 at Reedspen and Bingo. The police, they are saying that they found one J9 CA 9mm pistol with the serial number intact. It was affixed with a magazine containing 8 rounds of 9mm cartridges. The police, they also found one white ammunition tray containing 28 9mm spent shells. You heard that? The police also found one white ammunition tray containing 28 9mm spent shells. As a result, the guy who was found at the premises, he was arrested and charged. His name is Nicholas Walters, but he's popularly known as Gaza Man. He is 28 years old and he's living at Reedspen. He was charged for possession of a prohibited weapon and unauthorized possession of ammunition and he'll be going to the courts shortly. Intelligencers, big up on yourself, and officers, job well done. Now, in yesterday's video, I told you that three males and one female were arrested and charged for the gun that was found at Cook Street in Savannah Lamar early sunday morning well it's actually two males and two females that were charged 18 year old janovi guthrie from moorland hill in westmoreland is actually a female not a male all four persons they'll be going to the gun court shortly in this next incident this one took place wednesday night march 6 about some minutes after seven o'clock it took place at Retirement District in the parish of St. James. So, this is what we are learning. There is a gang of 
hoodlums operating in the retirement area. They are armed with handguns and rifles. One member of the gang is a female and we are told that this female, she's colder than the guys in the gang. We are told that this gang, they terrorize persons in the community and extort them. On Tuesday, they went to a shop in the area. This shop is operated by a 31-year-old man called Jay. It is said that the hoodlums, they went into Jay's shop and demanded rum and other items, but Jay, he did not give it to them. As a result, they got upset and left. The next night, Wednesday night, Jay, he was in his shop when some of the hoodlums who came there the day before, they went to Jay's shop. One of the hoodlums, he was armed with an M16 rifle and the others, they had handguns. The hoodlums, they opened gunfire hitting Jay several times. Jay, he managed to run from the shop and the hoodlums, they made good their escape on foot in the area. Jay, he received gunshot wounds to his back, his left shoulder and his buttocks. He was rushed to a nearby hospital where he was treated and admitted. We are told that when the police processed this crime scene, a number of M16 and .40 spin shells were recovered from the scene. Now, <laughs> can you imagine? <laughs> can you just imagine? Boy, may I tell you. Now, in yesterday's video, I told you about a guy who allegedly challenged the police in a shootout in the Kimanas Garden area early Thursday morning, about minutes after 4 o'clock. This guy, he was shot and killed by the police. I also told you that as soon as I got his name, I would be updating the story. Well, his name is Russian Rodney, but he was popularly known as Brushy. Just last week, Tuesday, February 27. Brushy, he celebrated his 30th birthday. Brushy lived in the same Caymanas Gardens area of Gregory Park. The mayhem. Now, in this next story, there was an accident along the St. Paul's Main Road in the Little London area of Westmoreland last night. Residents of the area, they are claiming that a police jeep was chasing Two youngsters on a bike who they had commanded to stop, but the youngsters did not stop. Residents are also claiming that it was the police jeep that hit the youngsters of the bike and the jeep drove away after the accident. As a result, the two youngsters who were on the bike, they ended up dying. We are told that one of them, his name is Tyreek Fraser, he is only 14 years old and the other one he is Javain Black. Both of them are from the Little London area of Westmoreland. We are also told that another youngster named Rajay. He was also riding a bike and he collided into one of the guys whilst he was on the ground. As a result, Rajay he was thrown from his bike. Now, I'm doing some digging into this one and we are going to be updating this story in a subsequent video. Stand by for that. We are also working on two other stories for tomorrow's video. In the first story, Hoodlums shot and killed a well-known ganja dealer named Claude at Martha Bray in the parish of Trelawney. This took place at minutes to 9 o'clock this morning. The other story that I am working on a hoodlum shot and killed a guy in front of many persons in the Grangeville area of Westmoreland this afternoon. I'll be giving you the full details on these stories tomorrow. Stand by for that. The mayhem. The me so let me ask you something. <laughs> let me ask you something. Have you hit on the love button as yet? If you have not yet done so, remember to hit on it. Also, if you are over here watching our videos and you have not yet subscribed, hit on the subscribe button as also. Hit on the notification bell. Then click all so that whenever we drop a new video, 
you will be one of the first to be notified. In the final story for today, that youngster on your screen. His name is Javier Watson, but he was popularly known as Javi. On June 11 coming up, Javi, he will be celebrating his 17th birthday. Javi was a student at the Belmont Academy and he lived at Cook Street in Savannah Lamar in the parish of Westmoreland. On Thursday morning, I posted that on our Facebook page. I included the message sent to us by a relative. The person said, Good morning, Papai. My nephew has been missing since Tuesday. He left his sister's home at Hartford 5 p.m. and haven't been seen or heard from since. His dress code at the time was a white button shirt with dots on it, a blue jeans and a pink bucket hat and a Crocs. Please post him for me. We are very worried. I carried a story yesterday that the decomposing body of a male was found in bushes at Providence Heights in the parish of St. James early yesterday morning. By the time I had sent out that video, I started getting information that the person who was found was none other than Javi. We also told that the police... They found an exercise book with his name, Javier Watson, on it. Javi, he was murdered. But the big question many persons are asking is, what was Javi doing so far away from his home? If you have been following this channel for a while, you would have heard me carrying stories about guys hooking up on a certain app. They go into that area where Javi was found to meet with other guys and they are killed or seriously injured. The question is, is that what happened to Javi? I cannot say that because I have gotten many messages from persons who said that Javi, he was last seen boarding a Toyota Axio in front of the Burger King in Savannah Lamar on Tuesday evening. The messages are claiming that at least two other guys were in the car. So, the big questions are, who killed Javi and why? More to come. The mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend about Papa News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe and share. With silver sin, if we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. If we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. Hey, crime it a mash up Jamaica. Criminals them a mash up Jamaica. Jamaicans mash up Jamaica. Come on.